Oh. Knees? A femur? Maybe we'll just have giant femur sitting around. That'll be pleasant. I'm going back into this first sewer to get the fish that I missed. Let's take that, a is, second. that is important. It is important. I agree. That's why I said it was. I figured you were Any just sight? making fun of me. Take him out. Oh, no. I'll oh. Handle it. Uh, also, why don't you just fish right here? Hey, hey, I found the fish. I can show off uh, Marcus's new S-Craft. I hope you're ready. And he's pumping his shotgun. You asked about yep. that at one point. You're finished! So I have two potential My questions. Turn. Okay. The first is, why doesn't he use the big gun all the time? Okay. Here I go. And, your and the second is, why doesn't the little, like, freeze-frame picture of him Leave it to me. have him wielding the big gun instead of the little gun? Um, your questions are, <laughs> stop thinking about it. Or Was the answers are, stop thinking about it. Sure. We're alive. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how bad it went, Fee. Anyone you can walk away from after shooting them in the face a whole bunch. Well, I guess it'll do. She's Fee. Yeah. She 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 doesn't get excited about things like that. It was just a oh, fight. Yeah, she does. A challenging foe. We should engage it with care. It's a crab. You've beaten a bunch of crab, Laura. That's true. I'm not a cre impressed right now. She should be more familiar with the uh, intricacies of crab punching. I decided to Watch wait for the snack dial before I go fishing. snack dial Why didn't you just go fishing anyways? I'm sure it would wait. Take it all? Also, now I really wish that, uh... Carcass activate! Okay. The, that killing these would count as catching a type of fish. That would be pretty cool. Because they basically are. Too slow! Too slow! Good job! You punched him for go. a thousand damage. Which seems like it's not really enough to matter anymore. I'll take you up! I'm not sure I've shown this one. Leave it to me. Not that the spells are all that interesting. That takes care of them. Well, I mean, that one was better than just pointless punching that would have taken forever. Sure. I am not going to show off every spell in this game, but I will show off some of them as, as time goes on. Yeah, I, I agree. You are definitely showing off some of them. Yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. And I'm showing Wait, off stop, thrilling fishing. Stop. You're using the wrong rod. No, I'm not. It's a Lake Lord Star. Yep. Yeah? And? Wow, this is a big one! That's not a lake. I don't care. Is it? Hey, look, a trout. Yeah. Because there is nothing I would like to eat more than sewer trout. I'm sure it's fine. I... I have to imagine it wouldn't be. There we go. There's our new guy. What even is this? <gasps> Fit plus 50 CP for catching an eel. That's pretty great. <laughs> yep. So I forget, do fish actually, like, enter your inventory when you catch them, or do they just cough something up and they... then so, give you some CP? Uh, they cough up something... And give you some CP, and then wow, if you ca when one. you catch a fish for the first time, it goes into your um, fishing book. Okay. And that's that. I will now. I, I didn't know if we did anything with the fish themselves, or nope. just presumably ate them off screen. Uh, probably. I mean, some of them, you know, Dangerous caught foe. up Let's cooking ingredients guard. that I don't use because I haven't been cooking on screen. It's true. I now I sort of wish that. I could probably do that. Well, you could definitely beat it. This one's dangerous. Uh, now I sort of wish that. I'll handle it. 
there were at least one or two fish that were straight up disgusting or unhealthy or something and gave you minus CP. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. deal with it. My turn. There. <laughs> Leave it to me. How about this? Hmm. Arcus, activate. All right, cool. I'll do this. One. Have a have a brick on your head. Oh, wait, is this just an earthquake? That that's just. An All right, let's keep going. Oh yeah, I'll definitely get to that. Or the gladiator belt. I'll give him. Managed to go the wrong way, despite double checking my move. Stay on guard and don't get cocky. Go. Attack! Right. Locked and loaded. You won't get away. So, what are you planning to do with all your stone sharks? Uh, they're not sharks, they're snacks. Here we go. Well, you can't eat them if they're made of stone, Why so not? they're not of snacks, course. are they? Uh, they'll chip your teeth. No escape! <laughs> yeah. Here we go! I'm gonna do that. That's okay. That. Let's keep moving. Does that work for you? Apparently, apparently you didn't get a bonus for killing a bunch of them at the same time, even though Laura obviously did that. I got the bonus for uh, the bonus EXP. Well, you got bonus XP for like Vanquisher or for Overkills, but not for like killing three at once. That's what Vanquisher is. Oh, is it? Vanquisher is four or more. Oh, okay. There's double kill, which is two at once. Triple kill, which is three at once, and Vanquisher, which is four or more at once. Okay, that's what I mis yeah. uh, misremembered. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, uh, you, you get diminishing returns once you get over four. I mean, that makes sense, because at that point you're probably doing something cheeky. Yeah. So yeah, the, the card is attached to the back of a storage container. Excellent. Ho hum. All of the white containers. Yeah. So now there's the obvious question of how did they get the uh, card under one of the containers? Yeah. Now here's my assumption. Okay. Um. I choose to believe that he was planning this specific runaround thing for, like, decades. Okay. This Phantom Thief, right? So he knew that so, Class A would be, or uh, Class 7 would be here before even meeting them? Alright, you guys. Well, he didn't know who it would be. It's noon. But he and knew. I'm gonna have to get going and my laptop's about to die. That's why you're hearing the okay. team in the background. So, would you guys like me to just stop my recording and you keep going? Go ahead. All right. we'll, we'll we'll finish yeah, okay. pretty soon after this. All right, cool deal. I'll talk to you yeah. guys later. Bye. Bye bye. All right. So, Phantom Thief B, right? Right. He had the plan of okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know for some reason I'm gonna make somebody do this runaround, right? Okay. So I'm gonna give some fairly vague clues. Right. I'm gonna make them you know a decade ago. But how would he know that he was and gonna? Then, gonna um, steal the Crimson Crown ten years ago. Well, it's not exactly like it changed much, right? I guess. Okay. Like, hell, 
he could be the one who popularized it being known as the Crimson Crown. <laughs> okay. All right. Because what this guy did was he bought up the uh, company that made these uh, shipping containers. Okay. And he installed the card, you know, into one of the containers themselves. Right. And just had the serial number recorded. So then he would wait until the serial number of the container was in the right spot. Sure. Because he's because he's going to be high up in the shipping industry in order to do this. Got it. And those are records that uh, ports keep. Right. You know, just so you know what is where. And that's when he decided he would strike. Okay. And then things like making it refer to a tram, that's kind of easy. Because right. guess what? There's going to be a tram at the station. Yeah. Because that's what happens. They're, they just come there. And yeah, the first time around... This is when I just happened to be talking about how wonderful it would be if there was some sort of Jesse and James uh, disguise yeah. scheme going on here. Also, look. Wait, that's not a black case. It is. It's distinctly uh, modeled multicolored on the top. Whatever. I'm just saying. I know you are. If you want a black case, I want it to be black as Machias's soul. Jeez, rude much? See, normally people say the devil's soul, but because I've decided I don't like Machias, I decided to insult him instead. I, I understand. Yeah. And actually, if you think about it, that, that right there was pretty impressive, because that means that, you know, if you had a briefcase like that, carried it around, yeah. the uh, tiara would not be located in the middle, in, flat in that sort of in that sort of way. Right. So either the thief stole it, put it in the case, and just carried the whole thing flat the entire time he was running around this place, mm -hmm. or he snuck in here, set it down, carefully arranged it so it would right. be presentable, and then snuck out. Yeah. The the second is more likely. Yeah. But that's just weird. Don't give him any credit, Laura. Maybe Laura's Phantom Thief B. She's the only one who likes him, apparently. Except no, it, it's the driver. It's the driver. It's the driver. It's the driver. Is it the driver? No. Oh, okay. It's the four iron. No laughs? Nope. Okay. It's Baron Blue Blanc! Uh, I, I, I can't tell that. I don't see enough of his features to be able to determine that one way or the other. After all, he's wearing a mask. Okay, if the... If the mask is really popular, or really well-known, uh -huh. and it doesn't cover up a single damn thing, Except how have he not figured out? It doesn't cover up the clothes he wears, which apparently he just wears all the time, or his hair, or, you know most of his features, it gives him a point to your nose. Sure. That's it. I like, should hit mute there, but I didn't. I was just going to assume you were going to edit it out. I mean, I mean. Um, you let it what out? I didn't hear exactly. anything. Exactly. Um, oh. Uh, like, how do you survive long enough as a thief to become infamous when frankly he should have
been found out and arrested, or at least yelled at by somebody um, a long time ago. Because? Unless this is actually sanctioned theater. Because it's not actually anything being permanently stolen. And it's just him messing around because he's a rich asshole with more money than sense, and he can do that. Or, you know, because he has superpowers. No. No, I don't see superpowers as a possibility. Like, that's just proving that he's a JRPG antagonist. Sure. Because apparently they can all just teleport at will because it makes things easier for the writers. That's fair. Um, is there anything in the Trail series that has explained why he can teleport like that? No. Not that I know of. Do you think there's going to be? Probably not. Yeah, same. Um, Purely to make the writer's jobs easier. My my counter-argument is Orbments. Um, right, I'm aware they exist, but there's no teleport Orbment, is there? Why not? Because surely there would have been some indication that it existed, or a reference to it, or we would have had one in one game. Why would we get one? That's that's way too strong for us. Although, uh, Class 7 can fast travel. And as we as we that's, discovered, that's as we not discovered, teleporting. fast traveling takes exactly one step. Right. So they have some seven league boots. Okay. Or fast traveling is actually just a segue. Okay. It doesn't take any steps. Sure. I did enjoy that piece of science. Yeah. And and now look, this owner is looking uh, incredibly put upon being like, yeah, I guess I've got to play with this stupid thing because he's some rich asshole. So yeah, I can, I can totally believe that this is just, you know, this Baron Blue Block is actually a noble who rich and or well-connected enough that the state is willing to just let him <laughs> play around with uh, the lives of the citizens of Erebonia. And li- liberal. No, that happened years ago. Two years ago. Not two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Pro- approximately two years ago. Okay. Two years and a couple of months. Oh, but more than two years ago. Uh, uh, give or take. You'll never be able to design time machines well, with a sense of time like that. I don't know, that was working better earlier. Yeah. Yeah. It did not go very well for you. Rude. But accurate. So, wrap it up? Yeah, after this cutscene. Fair enough. It wasn't exhausting at all. He was just some annoying person who made us run around the city a little bit. That's annoying. It wasn't exhausting. That's fair. Oh, Machias. What's wrong, Reen? It turns out Blue Blanc is actually Machius' dad. <laughs> He's the only other Baron we know. You mean Reen's dad? Yeah. You said Machius' dad. Oh, sorry, I meant I meant I meant Reen's dad. Okay. And Reen, you know, obviously knew him and was just putting up with him like oh god, really? So, okay. and right. if you just randomly saw your dad pretending he didn't know you, you know, when your friends were around in the middle of another city, you know. And he did specifically ask everywhere. for Group A. Maki's is right. Yep. Yep. Oh, 
also blue hair because that that's a thing in JRPGs. True. Yay, Sarah! Well, that would explain how she got that number. And how do you not know the voice of your teacher who's apparently, you know, you interact with every day and also uh, sleeps in the same dormitory as you? It's true. And who calls you on the phone all the time during these yeah. studies anyway. So where is Sarah supposed to be right now? Somewhere in the city. Oh, she's in the city? Okay, I... Because I knew she wasn't with us. I mean, I guess she And for some reason oh, I thought she... she wasn't with Group B either, and she just sort of went she's off She's not... Her actually, you know, okay. We don't know she's in the city. Um, She was not with either group when they got on the train, because everyone uh, trained over to Heimdall. She could still be in Trista. But since she's yeah. saying that... Since she's advising them to go to a certain place in the city, I assume that she's probably there? Well, she could have gotten a call saying, hey, yeah. get them over here. That's true. So, yeah, she could very easily still be in Trista. Yeah. And I mean, let's be honest, She's so useless that it's not like she could leave the city on her own. Um, what? Yeah. Sarah? Yeah. Didn't she get... She got all the way to the North Highlands by herself. Uh, no. With that, she went with group... I think it was what? Group A? Group A is the um, one we're down into. Down to the south. No, you mean group B. Oh, then it was with group B down to the south southern area. And then she's the teleporting statues to get up to the north. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, more interactions with Reen's sister. She yeah. hasn't proven herself incredibly annoying yet. <laughs> Remember the time she decided to get lost in a very small campus and then run around into a locked schoolhouse and then it was obviously abandoned and assumed ooh I should go exploring that is exactly what a sane person would do here absolutely oh no I went exploring and bad things happened that is not what could have been predicted and then I caused unnecessary drama and caused me to go whiny, super sane uh... well yes that was the unnecessary drama like I I'm sure we don't agree I'm sure we both agree that it wasn't necessary, right? Agreed. Yep. Did I get... Okay, so I did get credit. I have do... uh, gotten credit for everything, so we are done. Excellent. Wait, how many steps have you done? Uh, enough. Was it 10,000 steps? Uh, no, I think we gave the pedometer, so we don't know. What, do we give it back already? Probably, I can check. I don't think so. Because yeah. I noticed we just had a check mark uh, in that quest. And yeah, because I, I just went over and, and talked to him, and he. Uh, yeah, see, I don't have it anymore. Oh. Well, that's depressing. Yeah. yeah. Right. I've got to do the. Wait, what is, do... what is U material? Uh, U material are used to upgrade our weapons. Oh. So if I go we to... We haven't been doing any of that, have we? I have. I've just been doing it quickly. I mean, no, I can okay. show you. We go to the uh, weapon shop. Yep. Or no, no. It's the... You gotta go to the old factory. My bad. You would think the weapon shop would be in charge of the weapon. You got a customized weapon, and then yep. Uh, so it takes a certain weapon and then a certain number of U material to upgrade it. Oh, okay. We should probably do that. 
I did it for the ones that it super matters for. Fair enough. Because it, it costs more U material every chapter, so I want to conserve them. Isn't this y hander a uh, ring weapon? No. Boris? Yeah. So, the katana okay. is rings. Mm -hmm. The Zweihander is uh, um, Laura's, and then Laura's, Machias, and Fee, and obviously Elliot. Elliot, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Cool. And Group B can deal with their own damn weapons. Pretty much. All right, so I'll see you around. Yeah, that was a goodbye, good session. Internet. Goodbye, internet. <laughs>